I'm Cassandra Belinsky for Investment Pitch Media. Thank you for joining us today. Platinex has launched exploration programs for its South Timmins Mining Joint Venture Properties in the Timmins, Ontario Mining Camp. The South Timmins Mining Joint Venture includes the Shining Tree, Heenan and Mallard Gold projects following the formation of a joint venture with FanCamp Exploration which closed in March. Both companies contributing properties to the new joint venture with Platinex holding a 75% interest and FanCamp holding a 25% interest. These projects lie along the Rideout Tyrell Deformation Zone in the Abitibi sub-province, one of the most gold-enriched geological regions in the world, an area home to I Am Gold, Sumitomo's Coat Gold Project, Eris Mining's Juby Deposit, and numerous other small-scale historic gold producers. On July 24th, work crews recommenced activity and are currently advancing a comprehensive program at the Rhonda Central Area, including Area 3 of the the Shining Tree Gold Project. The central area hosts numerous gold occurrences and small historic producers, which largely focused on individual vein occurrences. The joint venture intends to assess the possible long-strike relationship between these occurrences and the cross-strike potential, which has been largely ignored. The program includes prospecting, geochemical surveying, and geological mapping. Additionally, stripping and trenching in the Rhonda area is planned to better understand the mineralization controls on the surface. Rhonda was identified as a priority area for further investigation and this is the first work at Rhonda since Platinex acquired the past producer. Exploration work is also planned in Area 1 which will include reconnaissance prospecting and geological mapping to target the RTDZ northwest of the Herrick area. Work at Shining Trees Area 2 and 3 has been completed in July and results will be announced following the receipt of assays. Work at Mallard will commence in August and includes prospecting, geochemical surveying and geological mapping. Anomalous gold mineralization occurs across the property along that trend with the principal gold occurrences at the camp and river zones in the northwest portion of the property. The primary objective is to identify potential extensions of the camp and river zones which were previously explored by Noranda and had revealed gold mineralization hosted within two northwest oriented shear zones. Historical near surface drill intercepts at camp and river include 5.04 grams per tonne gold over 3.69 meters, 6.62 grams per tonne gold over 1.83 meters, 1.85 grams per tonne gold over 6.25 meters, 3.50 grams per tonne gold over 2.77 meters, 5.31 grams per tonne gold over 3.84 meters. Following the completion of this program, the company plans to conduct a diamond drilling program focused on camp, river and new targets generated in the area from the upcoming fieldwork. The Heenan Gold Project, also located in the Swayze Greenstone Belt, is located within the Woman River Anticline and is centered on the Woman River Iron Formation. Previous work by FanCamp returned coincident geochemical and grab sample values ranging from less than 5 to 1,000 parts per billion gold for B horizon samples and less than 5 to 422 parts per billion gold for grab samples associated with a northwest orientated section of the Woman River Iron Formation. A stripping program is planned to commence in September with drilling anticipated to follow upon the completion of the program. Other assets include a 100% ownership interest in the W2 Copper Nickel PGE and Gold project near the Ring of Fire. Notably, Barrett Gold has taken on a large land position adjacent to blocks held by Endurance Elements, the company's wholly owned subsidiary. The company also has an option to earn a 100% ownership interest in the Muskrat Dam Critical Minerals Project with a primary focus on lithium. Platinex also holds a basket of NSR royalties on gold, PGE and base metal properties in Ontario. Greg Farron, President and CEO, has joined us today to discuss this news and upcoming plans for the company. Welcome, Greg. Hi, Cassandra. Uh, thank you for the introduction. As mentioned, my name is Greg Fair, the CEO of Platinex, and I was happy to give your investors a quick update. Um, three three things I'd like to discuss. The first one is our South Timmins joint venture in Timmins uh, with FanCamp, 
as you're aware, earlier this year, we closed a uh, $3 million financing, uh, a joint venture, and two additional property acquisitions in the Shining Tree Camp. I think we've done a great job creating a very interesting vehicle focused in that Cote Gold Camp, which will, will be in production next year. Uh, the program we announced is a combination of, of three things, drilling uh, this year, as well as preparing uh, for a winter drill program at, at Mallard. We have two uh, stripping trenching programs going on as well. And then longer term, we're getting uh, the Shining Tree project ready for additional earn-in capital uh, next year. And that involves uh, a combination of getting the historical mine uh, stripped at surface called Rhonda, and as well as developing targets along the Rideau deformation zone. Uh, the other uh, announcement I liked to, since we last spoke is we got the expiration permit for our copper nickel project in the Ring of Fire called W2. That took about a year. Uh, and now we're just busy getting our data uh, digital digi digitized and compilation done for that drill program. We're anticipating for the winter and that we are very excited about. That's our flagship project. And then finally, we also received a grant from the Ontario government for our Musrat Dam lithium project, also in Ontario. So with those funds, we'll, it'll enable us to do two things, a sampling program on the ground uh, in August, uh, some structural work and some prospecting. And then as well, we'll do a VTEM survey on the historical Inco uh, copper nickel area. So those are sort of the three uh, big updates uh, this summer. And we've had some uh, very good progress at the company in the first half of the year. And I anticipate uh, a lot of good results in the second half of the year, as well as I think the uh, the commodity market will continue to uh, bounce back and, and, and outperform. And thank you very much, Cassandra. Have a great day. Thank you, Greg. The shares are trading at three cents. For more information, please visit the company's website, platinx.com. Contact Greg Farron, President and CEO at 416-270-5042 or by email at gfarron at platinx.com. I'm Cassandra Belinsky for Investment Pitch Media.